Hi, I'm creating this video because I had a problem with a cheap Chinese car stereo. It was equipped with GPS and worked fine for a week or two and then it stopped working. I would show you the radio in question but it was stolen. If you have a similar problem and would like to know how I got mine working then stay tuned. Right, this is the radio in question, or similar radio in question I should say, similar specs and features, and if you look at the pictures of it, so you've got your remote and your GPS and your rear camera, and it was free post and packing, it's similar sort of price to what I paid for it and it's not a bad radio the screen's pretty rugged as well just got to be careful and use common sense and i was quite happy with it the only thing i wasn't happy about looking back is the fact that it didn't have a detachable face otherwise i'd have gladly kept it and it probably wouldn't have got stolen either um, but yeah so that's the radio in question and what i found out was the the slot for the micro SD card for the GPS, the ribbon cable for that was faulty, damaged. So I managed to find another auction on eBay, which is this one here. And unfortunately, they only come in packs of five, but at least you've got spares if you need them. And they're pretty cheap £4.50, UK pounds and pence free post and packing and they turned up pretty quick as well took about a week I think um, but yeah I'm gonna play you a short video clip uh, basically what it's for is to show you what the problem I was having before I managed to resolve it um, and hopefully that will give you more ideas to what to do if you've got the same sort of an issue right not long after I fitted the radio the front falls off the stick Piece falls off like that so that's not very clever so anyway it doesn't affect the operation of the unit that bit what we'll do we'll turn it on go to the unit itself as navy so that's all I'm getting when I go to navy um, it did work before when I first managed to get it working, but for some reason it's not now. So go to setting, GPS, turn GPS on. And then, as you can see, let's bring up the data for the GPS, the GPS device. Uh, so we'll go back to that one. And then obviously we're going to need to go to NaviPass. But all I'm getting now is that storage card. Doesn't matter what I do, I can press what I like and nothing happens. I'll even take the SD card out for the GPS. It's in the right hand slot, which is where it was when it stuck when it worked before. Put it back in. And the screen just flickers and it goes back to that. I've tested the, the SD card in my computer and it's coming up fine in my computer. Um, he even read it in a friend's um, machine uh, because he's got a similar machine in his vehicle but for some reason in mine it's not and it's so I personally think there's a fault with this slot here the one on the right anyway hope that's given you some food for thought and something to think about and if you've got the same issues that I was having then hopefully that you'll be able to resolve them. Anyway, if you've liked this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind, or click the dislike. Anyway, have a nice day, and until the next one, thank you. Thanks for watching.